I am at St. Peter's, a Catholic school in Bournemouth, where sex education is a part of religious education. We teach abstinence um, that they should, the children should save themselves for uh, their marriage partner, um, and until then they should not be sexually active. So we would support um, the dean's uh, bill. However, Mr. Hogan is also of the opinion that instead of focusing only on girls, the bill should include boys as well. Boys need to respect girls' decision to abstain from sexual intercourse uh, before marriage and that the boys shouldn't be putting pressure on the girls. But likewise, the girls we teach should um, be careful about how they present themselves, the way they speak, the way they dress, that sends out a message that um, they are saving themselves, they are looking perhaps later on in life for a more serious relationship, but to abstain. At the other end of the spectrum is Linwood School, meant for pupils with learning disabilities. It starts sex education for kids as young as five. I also believe that you need to start young talking about the relationships and it is important to have its age appropriate work but it is important to start talking about your safety connected with sexual relationships. They do learn about conception, STIs and contraception. With younger children who play a Simon Says game, so you touch different parts that you say, no, that's private, or, you know, that's okay. That type of game, which is getting into their heads about the public and the private parts of bodies. Like politicians, charities, and perhaps society in general, even schools are also divided over the sex education versus abstinence debate. Shreshtha Trivedi reporting.